Okay, so we had an update today. I had a CT scan done last week, and uh, today I got the update for it when I went in for my treatment appointment. And um, we thought the day seemed to be starting off really good. I got a phone call from somewhere in the building saying that I was moving up. I had been cleared to move up to a higher dose of the immunotherapy drug, um, which I'm just starting like my seventh cycle of that. Seventh month. So we were like, well, that's good news because they would take me off the drug if they had found that the cancer had spread or the tumor was growing and we would go a different route either with another drug or maybe back to chemo we don't know right until the situation presents itself so we were like well yay it took away like all our anxieties about it's always nerve-wracking going for the results so um and it takes about when I get there, I do a blood draw. It takes about an hour for the labs to come back. And then I go and see the doctor. And um, so when the doctor called me back, he walked in the room and he said, um, you know, have a seat. And he patted the table. Super sad. And he was really sad. He's usually super upbeat. And he said, we need to talk. And nobody's ever said that before. So, um, automatically instant panic for me and Callie both. And, um, so I sat down on the table and he said, are you, have you been having pain? And I was like, no. And he was like, you're doing okay? And I was like, yeah, I think so, right? And um, so he just, like, gives me a quick examination. And um, he was like, okay, so we found some nodules on your ovary. And I was like, oh, my goodness, because <laughs> I've been in this pain. It's constant. It doesn't go away at all. It is in my left ovary. It feels like <clears throat> kind of the crampy feeling of when you're ovulating. Um, only the chemotherapy seems to have put me in um, to menopause. So I had one period about six months ago or something. And I haven't had it anymore. So initially with this pain, nothing showed up on my last CT scan, which was three months ago. And then the pain seemed to have started like right after that. Um, and we didn't, we weren't worried about it because my CT scan hadn't showed anything. I thought it was a bladder infection. I thought it was a bladder infection. And I started taking azo and sometimes it seemed to work and I felt better and I wasn't having really symptoms of a bladder infection but I was having this pain so um, it seemed to help and then sometimes it didn't help and they checked me out at the doctor I let the doctor know they checked me out I didn't have any kind of infection and they, I was like okay then I guess I'm crazy so <laughs> uh after that, then I started thinking, maybe it was digestive pain, and I just didn't know, because this is, like, a, also a feeling I might have if I have, like, painful gas. It can be in my, like, all the way lower abdomen like that, so I started taking gas medicine, and it did the same thing as the azo. Sometimes it seems to help, sometimes it does nothing at all. So, I mean, we just didn't think anything of it. I... I have had this pain, but I have aches and pains everywhere, and so it's really hard for me to tell, like, how serious is this pain. Well, anyway, so 
the doctor says they found these these nodules on my ovary, so we need to do a biopsy. Biopsies said we need to have some biopsies done. He said this is consistent with my tumor markers on a incline, and um, he's mentioned my tumor markers before. I I completely forgot this because this is not the doctor I normally see. He's mentioned them before, and then the doctor that I normally see, she said that she doesn't care about the tumor markers. They have too many variables, um, and she said even from the same blood draw, different labs can get different results. So she was like, I, they're just not trustworthy data. So um, she doesn't care about tumor markers. So I, I had dropped that like months, months back. Um, I was like, okay, then I'm not going to worry about tumor markers either. And she said, kind of like, we're not going to worry until we see something, you know? So what he said today is we need to, we need to schedule some biopsies. I did do the increased dose of this uh, trial drug today, the immunotherapy, and he said, then I will need to start a new immunotherapy, depending on what the biopsy results are. Um, he said there are several different immunotherapies, so to start a new one, I will need to be a month clear of my last dose, so that would be today. So it seems like after today, we're going to be stopping immunotherapy for a period of time. I'm going to have some biopsies done find out what's going on and um, he said they'll also be testing my um, tumors genetics to mutation. mutation genetic mutations to see if there's changes there if it has mutated um, Callie's been looking up all day today it would be very very rare for my the type of pancreas cancer that I have to spread to my ovaries. Um, and from the beginning, like my first oncologist said, this is going to spread to the liver first and then throughout your body pretty much. So he was he, just based off the kind of cancer it was he never brought anything up about like spreading to my ovaries so it seemed it just seems unlikely um it's still scary it was very devastating in the moment to hear the news um and it was really hard to just be in the doctor's office all day we were there for almost 12 hours today um and just needing to like get out and process like process it. Uh, it was definitely a very teary, teary-eyed day. Um, very sad. It's hard to not be sad. The main tumor on your pancreas is, hasn't changed though. Yeah, that's really good news. The main tumor is staying consistent. It has not grown and it doesn't seem to be spreading. So that's really great news. That's still very hopeful that, um, you know, that this tumor might be dead. We don't know yet. Um, until we know, like, what we're dealing with, we're praying that it's just cysts. Um, I've never had issues with that before, but it doesn't mean that I couldn't. You know what I mean? So, we're just praying that it's something simple like that. And that this isn't the cancer metastasizing or getting cancer somewhere else. Um, so, it is good that the original tumor is staying, you know, it could be dead in there. So, that's really good news. Um, every one of these, every, like, one of these, when we get, like, a little bit of scary news or um, the cancer spreading is like definitely our worst fear. That's 
that's the thing where we know, like, if it spreads, that's, I mean, that's really bad. So, it's just alarming to, like, hear that it's a possibility. And, um, it takes, it takes time to process it and just turn it over to God. Remember that none of these things are a surprise to him, that he's numbered our days before there was even one. It's okay. This is just another day that he's written. It's okay. It doesn't mean, this doesn't mean it's the end. And just like going over what you know is true and trying to like battle the fears in your mind that are coming from your flesh with truth and try not to just get carried away in emotions because it is very emotional and it's really scary. So, um, the automatic thought, like, is what, you know, like, you, your mind just starts racing with, like, what, you know, will people be okay? Um, how are, you know, you gonna tell people and how it's gonna hurt them like you don't want to give people bad news that's gonna hurt them and um you don't want to like scare people that you love you know things like that it's, so a lot of things to think about is there anything That's it. So that's my update for now. The next thing will be getting some biopsies scheduled. Um, in the meantime, I've been like feeling like stronger and stronger. I've been doing better every day. Even it's too hot for us to fish all the time right now. But even like while we were fishing every day, I was still really weak. I was, I was, uh, just battling like a lot of weakness and lack of strength and we were going and doing these things but I was having to take like a lot of breaks a lot of sitting down um and, and going out just completely like wiping me out like wearing me out and I've been I've been like working around the house I'm yeah, sorry. working around yeah doing all kinds of things making it um, canning things and just like doing way more than I was able to do before and having way more strength and not getting exhausted by it. So we were really encouraged by those things and, you know, just obviously we just pray that it's a sign that, you know, that I'm doing good and, you know, getting stronger is a good sign. So we'll see. This is just the next, like, part of the journey and see where it's going to go. Um, hopefully we're praying it's going to go nowhere. We'll just, I mean, my ultimate prayer would be when we go in to have these biopsies that there's just nothing there, that it's, that it's gone, that they were, whatever it was has been resolved, that God's taken care of it. Um, But only he knows, so we're just going to depend on him and, and just wait.